The main issue of the day was reconstruction and how to handle reunification of our nation. Grant fully believed in protecting the newly freed former slaves and preventing the former Confederates from regaining power in the southern states. Grant led the effort to bring African Americans into the mainstream with the support of the 15th Amendment and legislation such as the Civil Rights Act of 1875. Grant also used the full force of his presidential powers to aggressively target the growing terror of the Ku Klux Klan. Stepping down after two terms, Grant left America for a grand tour of Europe before returning to New York City. He invested poorly and found himself nearly penniless. With the assistance of Mark Twain, Ulysses S. Grant began writing his memoirs. Diagnosed with throat cancer, Ulysses S. Grant raced to finish the book before he died, hoping to leave his family with an income. Soon after Grant's death on July 23, 1885, Grant's personal memoirs were published. They were sold door-to-door -door by salesmen dressed in Union Army uniforms.